Istanbul and today I'm gonna show you what a VIP trip to the Champions League final looks like. First thing I did was get a $3,000 business class flight to Istanbul. Let me show you what you get with a business seat. First, you get a massive seat. It's so comfortable as well. But that's only the start. Wow. You also get a lot of space for your legs. A window, a massive screen, where you can watch movies or play video games if you're bored. You also get a free welcome drink that tastes amazing. Wow. One thing I didn't tell you is that I didn't come alone on this trip. My friends are sitting all the way back in the same plane. So whilst I get to try a Champions League VIP experience, they will get to try the cheapest one possible. Let's see how they're doing. With their $500 seats, they had to make a long queue to get in. Once inside, things didn't look better. Their seats were really old. There was not much space. We're not even sat together. My bed crunch is being treated like a king right now. I was really getting treated like a king in these seats. From hot towels that relaxed my face to five-star meals that I've never had before. I literally had everything except for one thing. A photo with Clarence Seedorf, who randomly sat next to my friends, and they asked him a very important question. Who thinks gonna win, Inter or Man City? I don't think I just enjoy. You just enjoy? Yeah. All right, fair enough. <laughs> and so after a few hours of comfortable sleep, <clears throat> for me, we arrive at Istanbul, where I got a $50 luxury ride to my hotel. He had free drinks and even a huge TV to watch my own videos. The boys, on the other hand, had a $10 ride that dropped them at their $50 hotel. What could possibly go wrong? There's only two beds here. Who's gonna sleep alone? And so while the boys fight for their beds, I was checking in my $2,000 hotel. I'm about to see my private apartment for the first time. Come inside. This place was huge. So let me give you a tour. I have a crazy view of the city. I can literally see everything. I even got a table with six seats, even though I'm alone. We've got this huge living room and a giant bedroom. I even got this bed Oy. just for me. And there is more. Let me show you. I have a private basketball court, even though I suck at basketball. I also had a ping pong table, a gym to train my weak muscles. And lastly, I have access to a private pool and it's massive. Things were looking a lot better for me than my friends, but this would all change when I get to my seats later on in the video. But before that, it was time to have a luxury dinner at South Bay's restaurant. I have never been so excited for someone to put salt on my steak. But because I am not a bad friend, I also made reservations for my friends, but not here. <laughs> I literally sent them to a kebab shop just across the street. These kebabs were only $5 each. And the worst part is they only got money for one kebab each. It's one. Can you believe that? I bet Crunch is having something a lot fancier than this. Probably a golden steak or something. I am gonna sleep like a king tonight. I slept like a king. I wonder how the boys are feeling today. They're supposed to meet me at the fan festival later. I hope they make it. A few moments later. There they are. That's the boys. Right, boys. Now that we're all together, let me show you guys what we get in the fan zone. We had a huge screen to watch the game. Free drinks. There is even football games for me and my friends. I just scored. They also had a giant ball and the real Champions League trophy. But the queue to get to it is two hours. So enjoy this photo instead. And lastly, they had a gift shop where I bought a lot of stuff for myself. I got a hoodie, a mini ball, a mini trophy, a bucket hat, a little bag, an inter jumper. And because I felt so bad for the boys, I also got them a goodie bag. Yay! Can we go to the match with you? No. And so we made it into the stadium. 
where me and the boys separated again. With a 6,000 VIP ticket, I get to have a special entry with no queues. Whilst the boys, oh baby, they have to queue a lot. <laughs> I feel so bad for them. But let's walk inside. They had the official poster and a fancy red carpet. And once inside, this is crazy. Let me show you everything I get access to. They had games, free Turkish sweets, a bar with free drinks. They even had sofas for you to rest. You have to share them with people though. But they're so comfy. Here people say who is going to win. You literally press one of both bottoms and it just comes up one. It's just kind of glitched. Now it's 98 for City and 83 for Inter. I'm gonna go Inter, baby. They also had chefs making food on the spot, like fresh pizza, fish and chips, and even Turkish bread. Thank you. Wow, this is actually really, really good. And it's not even everything. This is just the outside. I still have to check my lounge, eat some more food. I have to check my seats and I have to watch the match. I wonder how the boys are doing. I sent them to a $180 seat. Bro, this is where we have to go in to the stadium. It's a cage, like animals. I bet Crunch is having a fancy entrance. Okay, so we're finally inside the stadium. Let me show you what we have. We have some food stalls, but the queue is massive. The prices were crazy. You could only get a burger or a hot dog, and there isn't even a place to sit. I bet Crunch food is 100% better than this. This is easily one of the greatest lounges I've ever been in. Now that it's only one hour to the game, so it's time to go to check my seats, which apparently were very high up. I'm not joking. I had to go all the way up there. Time to see the view from the stadium for the first time ever. Oh my God. This stadium is beautiful. This is the city side, there is nobody there. That is the inter side. Everybody is on their seats right now. And even better, my friend's seat is around that area. So let's see how their seats look like. The seat is very hard. It's also dirty, ugh. And we're also very far from the pitch. I bet Crunch isn't gonna be this far away from the pitch. I am pretty far, like far. My seat is so far away. 71, 72, 73, 74, I mean 78, 76, 77, 78, and this is my seat. Wow. Bro, I just found Crunch. Look at where he's at. I don't think his seat is any good. Now, time for the big seat reveal. What the? F it's not padded. It's like plastic. They're even dirty, bro. You can you can see it. There is a literal metal right in front of me. This is not good. Also, do you think for this price that is important people around me? So far, nobody. Last year, there were people like LeBron, Zidane, and even Will Ferrell sat behind my friend. If anything, the side that has important people is the other side. The boys got to see legends like Snyder, Nesta, Kaká, and even Seedorf. Again! I actually kind of feel bad for Crunch. He's sitting all the way up there. He really looks alone. And here, the atmosphere is great, and we all get to be together. I kind of feel sad for him. But it was time for the game. Inter is playing Manchester City. If they win this game, it will be like a miracle. And if they lose, my friends will be absolutely devastated. 99% faith, 1% probability. Let's get this, baby. And so the event started with a show nobody cares about. It had fireworks though, followed by the players jumping on the pitch. And the fans making their tifos. See, this side looks cool, but it ain't as cool as it does. So the match started with City quickly looking stronger. City, no, no, this is a chance. But the Inter fans went scared and kept pushing, and Inter slowly gained control of the game. They were pressing high, recovering balls, and even getting closer and closer to Ederson, making City 
feel very nervous. What if it is actually playing better than City right now? But right after I said that, City will get a chance that could change the entire game. Oh no. Oh my god. The boys must be crying right now. Or loving your nana. One of both. Oh, nana! But things will go from bad to worst for City. Kevin De Bruyne is on the floor, boys. He might actually not be able to play. Inter chance of winning go up. So it goes from 1% to 2%. But how did the boys take it? It looked like Kevin De Bruyne is about to go out. Let's change this game. I think we might win now. First, I've ended with no emotions on my side. I reckon my friends are waving flags right now. They were, in fact, waving their flags. And they were also very optimistic. Yes, I'm done. No goals. Lukaku comes in in the second time. We win this. We win this! Yeah! And so the second half started, with Lukaku quickly coming on from the bench. With him on the pitch, Inter will have their first clear chance after a mistake from City's defense. This was the best chance they had, and they missed it. Nobody in the stadium could believe that miss. Everyone was shocked. Even Pep thought that was the end. But just a few minutes later, City will show why they've been the strongest team in Europe this season. Like nobody cares, you know, like it do, not even a reaction. Oh, the boys will be devastated. The boys were really devastated, especially my friend Ricky. He really thought Inter could win. And to be fair, they could have won, but they missed this chance. And they also missed this other chance right in front of goal. At this point, my friends were suffering. It didn't really look like it was going to be Inter's day. But there was time for one last play. Every player in the area wanted to get the last ball. Even Inter's goalkeeper was there. And so from this corner, Inter had one last chance to level the game. But it didn't go in. And so City won the Champions League. And my experience was probably the best. But I couldn't take the boys back home feeling this sad. So I surprised them with business class flights back home and a dinner at South Bay's with the actual Salt Bay. I am not joking, he even fed me. Like that's him. And if you love this video, you're gonna love the next one. Click here, please. Wow.